Go. You're going down. You fraud. I can't believe you decked your producer over a bad contract. A contract? Yeah. To my understanding, he wanted more money, so he went and socked the guy. There was a time that this was all the news talked about. No. The only reason he did that was to get his manager out of a jam. Wait, what's this about his manager? That producer you seem to love so much actually tried to force himself on Ilyu Jin's manager. So in the heat of the moment, he did what he could to protect her. And to make sure she wasn't dragged into the spotlight, Ilyu Jin kept quiet. That's why... That's enough, Kasuga-san. Only the people involved need to know. Yeah, but... Wait, if your manager was a lady... Actually, I do know that producer had a terrible rep as a womanizer. And come to think of it, the whole fighting over money spiel was penned directly by him. Could that mean you really did all that for your manager's sake? And you kept it a secret all this time, even at the cost of your career? Suzuki-san, I will tell you this only once. Do not speak of this to anyone. I'm not gonna let some media clown track down my manager and ruin her life again. If something like that does happen, you will be the one who pays. You look at me like that, I can tell you're not bullshitting. You protected her all right. Looks like I'm the fraud here. Instead of doing proper research, I only swallowed up the hype. Some journalist I am. All right, I deleted the pictures. Not a single one remains. Good. Kasuga-san, you really helped me turn my life around. Thank you. What can I say? You're a star with staying power. Keep your chin up, guy. <laughs> I certainly will try. But I do have the weight of what I've done hanging over my shoulders. Neither the media nor Suzuki-san had it wrong. I hit one man and caused others grief. 
My first order of business is to own up to what I've done. Make things right. Only then can I aim to be how I once was. An actor who touched people's hearts. <sighs> well, if that lady at the park is anyone to go by, I'd say you're off to a great start. <laughs> Maybe so. Here, why don't you have this? My way of saying thanks. Well, I guess it's so long for now. See ya. Huh? What was that just now? Oh, nothing to worry about. I took a picture of Yusama's first step forward. Been a while since I posted about an actor not screwing up his life. Who knew it felt so good to support someone? So, rather than yet another scandal, how about I cook up something a little more uplifting? Oh? An actor's road to redemption. Il Yujin announces spectacular return to showbiz. Well, how's that sound? <laughs> Not bad at all. One of these days, I'll get him to give me an interview. Not about his past, but what he plans for the future. After seeing how different he is, even the most jaded critic would give him another chance. Got that right. Guess I'll leave the journalism to you then. Ah. Should have got me his autograph. to hustle. Let's do it. Time to hustle. Okay. Watch 
this. You're gonna be in a world of hurt. Cool. You wanna fight? <gasps> Let's go. I got this. You're gonna get stung. Going in. Gotcha. You're gonna be in a world. Let's go. With finesse.
Hey, dude! Have you lost it? Just leave me alone. Wait, don't I know you? The guy from the Red Light District. Uh... You're... Mr. Fetish, right? Fetish? Precisely what fetish do you speak of? There are innumerable kinks out there, more than stars in the sky! Yeah, uh, my mistake. Uh, you're Mr. Sadist, Sadist, right? I beg your pardon? I'm sorry. Yes. You're Mr. Masochist, so you've heard of me before. Mostly just... Anyway. Kasuga san, is it? Uh-huh. Because I want to feel. I want to hurt. Oh, right. That would be correct. As if, but that's beside the point. Dang. I know I started the... Here's who I really am. A man with a body unyielding, lusting for pain, yet never receiving. At least I built up muscle. They'd leave me twisted like a pretzel overnight sometimes. <laughs> Alas, I suppose this is no laughing matter. You're telling me. Which brings us to the tree. I thought it would hurt. And did it? No. I felt strong. You asked for it. Battle is on! Get 
Let's go. Yeah, All right. That's enough. What should I get? The new special looks good, oh, but there's also the old standby. Come on, when someone's treating you, you gotta go with just a standard beef bowl. Aw oh, man, really? 
Well, at least let me get a large. Taka! Pipe down, dumbass! If he sees me like this, he's gonna know I'm not rich. Right. Didn't think about that. Not to mention a rich philanthropist and his secretary eating at a dingy little beef bowl joint looks pretty weird. Let's get out of here before Takashi sees us. What about the beef bowl? Next time. Okay, even though it was a bust, I still think that guy Yamada is a total sucker. We gotta try again. Okay, come on. Just keep the pen pal thing with him going for now, okay? Uh, okay. Come on. We'll come up with a better plan. One that'll make us really rich. You think the two of them could be working together? Hey! What's going on here, Takashi? Y yamada san What are you guys doing here? Oh, we're getting beef bowls, cause we're broke. Now tell us what you're doing here. You're broke? Yeah, that's right. Mr. Yamada Moneybags was fake. I made it all up. I'm just a jobless old fart named Adachi. Huh? Surprise. Adachi-san was just pretending to be a high roller, so Takashi wouldn't feel bad taking his money. And this is your way of showing thanks? By taking everything I've got? Takashi. If I were you, I'd start apologizing. Adachi-san's not the only one getting pissed off right now. We're the ones who need an apology. You've been lying about all this money of yours, and now it turns out you're just some bum. You stay out of this. No, I'm gonna fuck you up now. Messing with us and stirring up a bunch of shit? You got it coming, man! Screw this. Time for me to kick your ass. Let's go out front. Hold up! 
I'm so sorry. Do you have any idea what it's been like to be me these past 20 years? Hey, Kosuke. Takashi-kun? I just found this letter in my room. What's this about scraping a bumper? And an out-of-court settlement? I don't remember anything about this. Crap. I can explain. Dude, did you pretend to be me to squeeze some money out of Yamada-san? I'm really, really sorry, man. Hang on a sec, you two. Let's get this cleared up. Yeah, seriously. This letter is the one I sent to Takashi, to set a date for the settlement. And you sent it to Takashi Kasumi, that's me. Are you serious right now? Then, who's this? He's my roommate, Kosuke. There was a time when we were both good students striving to become lawyers. Then Kosuke gave up on having a real career and started hanging out with some losers. My guess is they pressured him into impersonating me. He's not the type to stand up to people. <laughs> guess he would have made a crap lawyer. Look, all I did was mention that my roommate had some sweet-ass deal where rich guy sends him money every month. 